coming Monday, the woodcutting skill is going to get a whole new face with the introduction of the Woodcutter's Grove in Fort Ferinthry. Now, this is not just an addition to your forts with a new building and new woodcutting perks. This adds a new area to train woodcutting, convenient for all woodcutting levels, a new tier 80 in Camdo Hatchet, a new wood box for holding your logs and wood spirits, wood spirits themselves the equivalent of stone spirits for woodcutting, and major rebalances to all hatchets and trees across the level bands. Now like with previous additions to your fort you can expect three different tiers that look visually better and provide more boost as you level up. The woodcutter's grove is actually situated outside of the main fort walls just to the east and you actually extend part of the wall and push back some of the area that was previously considered wilderness. Leveling up the grove does give you access to a doorway that allows quick travel into and out of the fort and grove areas and there will be a fairy ring for quick travel as well. As you improve the tier of your grove you can expect higher level trees to appear there. You can also begin to auto collect birds nest straight to your inventory and even have access to a new tree patch here at the grove. At tier 3 this is where you have the chance to start working towards finding the Encamdo hatchet, the new tier 80 augmentable hatchet that will launch with this update. In order to make it you will need to gather four pieces of the Encamdo hatchet found through birds nests. They are a new type of bird nest with this update so you cannot stockpile beforehand to try to hunt for it early. With the four pieces of the hatchet you can take the Thurgo with the dragon hatchet and then you will get your hands on the new tier 80 Encamdo hatchet. As I mentioned earlier the wood box is a new item also being introduced which works pretty much just like the ore box for mining. It needs to be upgraded incrementally to hold more logs and more log types. You can upgrade it from basic to elder and they will also hold the new stone spirit equivalent wood spirits. These are not added to any monster drop tables and are received through birds nests. Last thing I want to touch on for the grove itself there are a variety of trees all in this small area that as I mentioned get better as you level up your grove. But the most notable trees that you can find here are maple, acadia, yew, magic, and elder. You can even find some ivy on the side of your wall to your fort. And if you notice the log piles scattered around the grove these are deposit boxes that allow you to basically train here indefinitely much like at say deep sea fishing. To shift gears this update includes changes to wood cutting as a skill. First off we have the hatchet rebalance. Requirements for hatches have been re-tiered so there's no more odd levels like 41 and previous tiers have been rebalanced to better reflect the new scale. So you can expect it to match pretty closely to pickaxes for mining or archaeology with Maddox. And you would expect the effectiveness of each tier increase or upgrade to feel more smoothed out or gradual as opposed to the large jumps you see in the live game. On top of this the trees themselves have been balanced. They now also upgrade at 10 level increments and have promoted Acadia to a core tree type. So you can see on screen here these are the changes to the current trees and their new levels to help fill out the level band. On top of this the woodcutting experience rates have also been rebalanced. You can see this chart on screen here some of the trees have had a dramatic change to their XP which should make going through these levels a much smoother process. The aim was to keep the current status quo at the top end of XP rates then reduce that back down gradually for trees that give a more desirable resource and raise the floor of the skill making different trees more useful for different goals. You can actually see the chart on screen here to give you an idea of how things have changed in terms of the chop speed as well as XP per cut. So a lot of these trees that took a very long time to get logs have now had very significant increases and that should drastically affect your XP per hour at these trees. And that's pretty much the gist of what you need to know with the Woodcutter's Grove as well as the changes to the woodcutting skill and the addition of the new hatchets. If you enjoyed the video so far please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you'd like to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related then hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Once again this update is coming out next Monday June 19th so get ready to chop some trees. I'm closing out the video there. If you missed my coverage of Monday's update, video will be on screen now. If not, I'll see you next week with the Woodcutter's Grove. I'm out. Aloha.